Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. Today we are continuing the Legacy Challenge and I'm really excited because we have a lot to do today. The last episode was pretty chill. All we did was a bunch of uh, skill building and just necessary things around the house, but I'm super excited for this one because I did redo the house. If you watch my Twitch stream last week, you got a sneak peek of that, so that was fun. I just wanna mention, of course, I'm so sorry that I'm not able to upload as often as I used to, as often as I would like to. It's been pretty busy around here. Um, school is already killing me. <laughs> I hope school is good for you guys though. I'm sending you all my love and wishing the best for you. I know it's such a weird time and I know doing doing school online is like so weird. It truly is for me. Like I don't know how I'm gonna last this semester. But we'll see how everything goes. I do have a Celsius today, sparkling watermelon, so cheers to you. I'm really excited for this episode. I miss you guys so much. I really can't say it enough. And I'm so thankful that I can be here filming for you today. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get into this episode. Woo! Okie dokie, you guys. Here we are on the Legacy lot. As you can see, I changed the color palette of the buildings on the lot. They used to be white and black. Very modern looking, but I changed the vibe to be more of a warm, like, cabin feel. Uh, so I changed it to some red brick and some off-white paneling. I cleaned up the landscaping a little bit. You can't tell because it, everything is covered in snow, but when I built it, it wasn't covered in snow. <laughs> I feel like it's always freaking snowing in this Let's Play. Um, but anyway, yeah, I cleaned up the landscape. Uh, Ren's house I made all black just for a little bit of uh, differentiation, I guess. <laughs> I just like the contrast. Um, what else did I do? What else? What else? I think that's it. But yeah, let me show you uh, the new house. So we have this little... Underneath all the snow, it's like a brick... Not brick. It's like... Yeah, I guess it's brick. A brick pathway. We've got a nice uh, fountain centerpiece here. Um, and then we head up to the porch. Whoa! Let me go into tab mode here. <laughs> We head up onto the porch here where we have a nice little seating area. We've got a nice tree. Um, yeah, so let's head in. I took some inspiration from my base game build with this layout. So we have a little foyer here when you first walk in. And then you've got like our big archways to go into the different sections of the house. The colors that I had for like the idea of the colors and just like the vibe of the house I just wanted it to feel super warm super inviting with like witchy elements here and there I it's so hard for me to explain like what goes on in my head but that's 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 like the best way I can explain it I do want to add some more things here and there as this house becomes more lived in but as of right now I really do enjoy it so we've just got the thermometer here over on this side. We've got like a catch-all table, I guess, a mirror to check yourself out, some shoes. Uh, and then we come through here. We've just got some, you know, photos on the wall, a mirror. This was the same mirror that was at, in the old house. So I thought we could uh, bring it over here as well. Let's go over into the living room first. I will resume so it looks more natural. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went for like warm tones and greens in here and it's Christmas today. So all the, there's like decorations everywhere. <laughs> so we've got a big screen TV. We've never had a TV this big, so that's exciting. We've got a little fireplace here right in the center, which is nice. Some presents, some more photos. The tree needs to be decorated again. I put it in the inventory and um, yeah, it, all the decorations came off, but it's fine. And then over here, we've got Max's stereo. We've got a little office space. Through this door, we've got the downstairs bathroom. It's very plain, very blue. Um, and then through here, we have Luna's bedroom. I love the colors in here. Uh, let me just say that real quick. It just feels very moody, kind of on the darker side, just uh, cozy and I don't know. I don't know. It's just her vibe. I don't know where the freaking roof is. 
I don't know what that's about. Every time I give a tour, there's like no roof. <laughs> So yeah, I use a lot of the tiny Twavelers, CC. You're not supposed to be in here, little man, but whatever. We're gonna be aging him up in the, this episode today too, which is exciting. That needs a frame. Uh, What the heck? That sounded weird. Anyway, moving along. Through here we've got why are you just standing there? <laughs> the kitchen. This is probably my favorite part. Oh my gosh, Luna just set the table. What a cute bean. Uh, yeah, a nice table here. Fireplace. We got a little mini tree in here. Why not? We had the space. Here's the kitchen. You know, dark woods. I use olive as a uh, accent color. We've got some holiday crackers. I'm excited to pop those off. <laughs> um, lots of Lil Dicka um, CC. If you guys haven't looked at uh, his recent, I think it's a he, his recent kitchen CC pack, I would go check that out. It's really cool. We've got our bar cart here, and then through here we have our, di our formal dining room. It's very small, but um, this is really all that we need for a dining room. Here are those photos again. <laughs> so cute. We need to add Bruce's photo up there. Okay, and then we've got like this little area for veggies, kids crafts, we've got like a bulletin board, all that good stuff. Uh, let's head out in the back. It's snowing, so it's not as beautiful as it was when I built it, but here's a little grill area. We've got a yoga mat, a bonfire pit. We got a pool now, which is exciting, and we've got a little outdoor seating area here. It looks like someone made some grilled fruit. <laughs> I love these hanging chairs as well. I think they're so rad. Anyway, oh yeah, we have to decursify Stella as well. <laughs> Let's head upstairs really quick. I don't know who's calling. It better not be anything important. On this wall, we've got a gallery wall full of family photos. Real cute. We've got an aquarium here at the end of the hall. Uh, in my Twitch stream, we have an aquarium with some really cool fish in there, so I kind of want to do it in this LP too because I enjoy it a lot. Through this door, we've got Bruce's room. It's uh, it's real green. Everything in this house is like green and blue. Um, I don't know what that was. I'm missing a lot of stuff. <laughs> then through here is his bathroom. It's super plain. I made all the bathrooms like really, really simple. Um. And then, through here we have Felix's room. Blue, green, love it. I love the colors in here. Um, lots of StrangerVille stuff, like this picture, these posters. And then through here we just have another bathroom, pretty much identical to the other one. And then, across the hall, <laughs> We've got the master bedroom, which is probably my favorite. Like, this is just a whole mood. The colors, ah, uh, it just looks so cozy. Got their wedding photos here, her tarot cards, lots of stuff from the old bedroom I just moved into here. A little seating area with the drone, and then we have the master bath. I love this because, specifically, the mirror. Um, there's this, like, smart smart thing to make it a smart mirror it tells you like the time and the weather i will put who created i'm pretty sure this is a little dick as well and then there's like a little area for stella to get ready here we've got a nice shower nice bath yeah i'm pretty sure that's it so lots of blues lots of greens <laughs> i hope that you guys like it it looks like stella's depressed from losing a sibling i'm guessing that was because kane died was that in the last episode I really don't remember, but it looks like her her sister Cameron is an elder as well. Oh my gosh, dang, everyone's starting to die, which is actually super, super sad. Ryan is still an adult, Alice is a young adult. Okay, so yeah, that's the house. I hope that you guys enjoyed the tour. <laughs> a couple of things that I wanna do in this episode are decrucify Stella, 
give you the house tour, which I've done already. We're going to be celebrating Christmas right now. Age up Kieran, and then I'm hoping that I can do prom for Zoe and for Felix in this episode as well. I know it's included with the uh, memorable, <laughs> memorable events mod that Kawaii Stacy just recently came out with, so we're going to check that out because I know that prom is one of the um, events that you can take part in, which is pretty cool. So let's have a look at the calendar real quick just to make sure I'm not missing anything. So we've got Winterfest today. Nothing tomorrow, Kieran's birthday on the next day, New Year's Eve on the day after that, Luna and Zoe's birthday. So Zoe, Zoe only has two more days of school, tomorrow and Friday. <gasps> That's pretty crazy. And then Luna will be a teenager. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. And then a few days after that, we've got Bruce's birthday and Felix's birthday. Okay, so Felix has a little bit more time than Zoe does. Oh man, so much happening, so much going on. Um, I'm real excited, guys. I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, so let's celebrate some Christmas times. The tree needs to be decorated again, so I'm gonna go ahead and get. Hmm. Um, maybe just the kids. So we'll do Zoe, Felix, and Luna. We'll do red and gold, Felix and Luna. Okay, and then we'll do decorate garland, um, popcorn and cranberries. Cute, cute. And then we'll do the tree skirt, red and gold. And then we'll do, what are we missing? Garland. We did that. Topper. Um, white and gold starburst. Okay, it looks like Luna can't do the topper, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, so once they're done with that, we will light the tree, do the presents, and I will get Charlie to cook, because I'm pretty sure we were working on his cooking skill, right? Yeah, he's almost maxed it. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get him to cook dinner. Cook a grand meal! Let's do... Hmm, let's do a ham dinner. And then Stella, let's work on, oh Lord, isn't that interesting? Look at what we paused it on. <laughs> That's actually really cute. <laughs> let's uh, go ahead and decursify our girl. She definitely needs it. I updated a few things in here as well. I took away the desk and added a dartboard and I changed the chairs out so we could have more room for, um, I forget who we were doing videos for. I think it might've been Charlie. <laughs> Um, 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 so yeah, that's what we got going on. So let's get to work then. Stella Love, let's, uh, the Decursify potion is in the Aspiration Rewards. The easiest freaking thing ever. I didn't even think to check there. So Potion of Curse Cleansing, let's grab one of those. And then we will get her to drink it. Drink that. Drink that. Let's go. Drink that. Uh-oh, this is broken. Let's uh, repair that, Stella. There you go. Beautiful. Love to see it. Uh, okay, so she's all good. No more curse, curse, curse for her. I'm so excited. And then for Ren, what were we working on for you, for your skill? Oh, that's right. Wellness. Okay. Yay! She successfully removed all of her curses. That's what's up. Beautiful. Alright, so Ren, instead of doing whatever it is you're doing, why don't you come over here and practice your yoga so you can max that skill? And look at them go! They're decorating the tree! How lovely! Yay! Well, it's all four of the siblings together! Isn't that cute? Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so they got the rest of the tree decorating all queued up. Bruce, how are your skills? Pretty good, actually. Look at that thinking. That's like usually the first thing, or the last thing that gets done, but your thinking is actually pretty high. That's exciting. Hey, I didn't tell you to do blue. Did I? Mm, that must have been an accident. 
Charlie, how's the meal coming along? Oh, it looks like it's going pretty good. Okay, fantastic. I am going to get Stella to come over here and experiment a little bit. We are working on getting her to the tippy top of the magic thingy, the magic tree. It looks like she's almost halfway to mastering it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, oh, Zoe and Felix just became good friends. That's so cute. That is so cute. Hey, Bruce, why don't you come play dolls with Kieran? Yay, and Charlie Max's cooking skill. Good job. I am so proud of you. Are you going to put that down? Okay, let me just put that over here so we can all um, eat over here. <laughs> I'm going to move these candles for now. We'll just put it up there, whatever. All right, so that's all ready for us to eat later. Um, perhaps we should eat now, actually. Are you guys almost done with the tree? What else do we want to do for Charlie, too? Charisma? Yes. He's feeling confident, so let's go ahead and practice an, a, 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 practice a speech. <laughs> <laughs> um, level 7 parenting, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, everybody's doing something. Everyone is working on themselves, except for Bruce. He likes to just stand around a lot. Alright, come and play dolls. Play dolls until I tell you not to. Oh, you not allowed in there? Today's my favorite holiday, so of course I wanted to spend it here. Who's that? Oh, let's turn on some music. Not ja not the, um, the, uh... Christmas station because it has like copyright strikes on YouTube. So we'll do jazz. It's pretty dang close to be honest. And then we'll get Bruce to... Why can't he dance to this? Oh, he needs help. Oh, that's lame. Hey, did you guys finish the tree? Oh, you did! Okay, that's actually really, really cute. The ornaments kind of look like crap, but it is what it is. So, go ahead, let's everybody light the tree. Actually, no. Let's just get Luna. Oh, Caleb's here. And it looks like Santa's here as well. Yeah, it is already eight. All right, Charlie. Why don't you call everyone to grand meal? And that's right, level nine charisma. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. No fire, please. Looks great, guys. The tree is absolutely beautiful. Let's place pl 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 a present pile. Charlie, let's call everyone to meal real quick. Come on, dude. Hopefully everyone sit actually sits at the table. Ho, ho, ho. Friendly introduction Santa as well. Let's get some gifts. What you get there, Luna? Hopefully something good. Did you, did you, did you? A blarfy. Okay. Okay, I think everyone is eating, which is honestly kind of weird. Caleb's like, oh man, that smells good, even though I don't eat. <laughs> he is a foodie, though, which I think is pretty funny for him being a vampire. So what's wrong? When I realize that there's not enough chairs. Cute. Santo! Someone's singing! Cute. Wingle zibs. Oh, it's Stella. Oh, oh, look! Clement's giving Ren something! What'd you get, darling? Something good? Uh, Jazz Cat's Whiskers of Your Forgotten Past. Okay, I think that's that really expensive, uh, <laughs> painting. These little beans need gifts as well, so let's get that done. And then we can all go in the living room and open presents together. I'll get Ren to make a glass of wine, and then I think Stella can duplicate it to save some money, which is really cool. These two are so cute in here. Oh my gosh, look at these three. They're still in here chatting even though the food's gone. I love that. That's so cute. Enjoy company. Oh my god. How adorable. They're so cute. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Um, you know who we're missing is Alice. I did a little thing where I made a group with some of the family members. So let's go ahead and start a gathering so that everyone can come over. And let's all open presents. Yay, look at them all coming. Oh my god, how cute is that? Honestly, so adorable. All right, guys, let's open them. Let's see what we got. 
Everyone's looking at each other like, okay, who's gonna go first? Um, a Appaloosa Plains postcard. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Ren, for changing Bruce's diaper. A pro quality knife block set, lots of love bear, home for two dollhouse, romantic festival bubble bottle. <laughs> and it's almost Kieran's birthday. Okie dokie then. Come on, Zoe, I think you're the only one who didn't open a present. Oh, Charlie too. Hi, Kyla. Love this outfit. A uh, crisp, a crisper? What the heck? That's so funny. Maybe it's for her little guest house. Oh, there goes Ren. And Charlie as well, he needs to. Uh, one London's Choice. Don't know what that is. And Charlie. Oh no, Charlie didn't get something he liked. Oh no. Nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. Okay, how about one of the presents under the tree then? No, he already opened one. Okay, I'm sorry, Charlie. It looks like you're not getting anything good this year. What a good bean. Oh, this needs a frame. She's so pretty. Don't ask me where the ceiling is. It's there. It's just not showing up. It looks like everyone had a successful Christmas. That was so freaking hard with eight sims, everyone having a successful Christmas. What? That's crazy. I think we're gonna leave the tree up um, through New Year's Eve. Why are you out here, Charlie? It's freezing, my dude. Oh, you're dancing to music out here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and turn that off. You can clean up around here. Oh, we still have these as well. Okay, let's do these. Let's, ha let's have the kids do it. Open holiday crackers, you guys. Come on, they need to be opened. I've never done this in The Sims before, so I'm kind of uh, interested to see. Oh, that's cute. Oh, what? There's presents in them? Zoe received a special collectible plushie from the Holiday Cracker. There's also a joke scrawled on a slip of paper. Why do why don't Sims iron four-leaf clovers? Because they don't want to press their luck. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh, she just ate something. Was it candy? Another collectible plushie and another joke. What kind of jewelry does the social bunny wear? 18 karat gold. A sweet surprise piece of candy inside. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna get her to do another one since she didn't get a gift inside. She's got candy. And she's the young one, so she deserves more than one. Oh, another piece of candy. They're all in here chatting again. I love that they all get along. Honestly, it's really, really dang cute. <laughs> oh. Here's the wine as well. I wonder if Stella can duplicate that. Oh my gosh, she can. Copy pasto. Oh my gosh, it was added to her inventory. Okay, okay. Um, hold on. Always transport a late. Oh my gosh, free wine, you guys. That's so dope. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> That is so cool. All right, it's 4 a.m. Let's go ahead and end this family gathering. And uh, is anyone even tired? No, your freaking mood is actually perfect. So call kids to bed. Is that new? I'm very curious. <gasps> okay, they're all they all came over here. Interesting. They're not tired though. Well, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, 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 for Felix, we were doing for photography. That's fun. I totally forgot. We wanted like a, a skill that was only five. So let's get him to read a, a photography book to get that going. For Miss Zoe here, we were working on her fitness and her magic. Right. What are you at? Okay, you're level two. Not bad. And Luna just needs to max her mental and her social skills. I think we could definitely do that before she ages up. She actually gains skill really, really fast, which is nice. It looks like Kyla is still here. <laughs> hello, beautiful. Hello, hello. Are you making us a de-stressing de concoction just like everyone else does? 
Thanks. Appreciate that. Oh, crap. We were up all night. The kids have school in an hour. Oh, my gosh. Did they even do their homework, I wonder? Okay, yeah, he did. Do extra credit real quick. Luna, did you do yours? Do extra credit. Okay. <laughs> do they all have A's, by the way? Okay, Luna's a B. B. A. Okay. So I'm thinking today at school, Zoe should make friends. And then hopefully she can meet someone who will go to prom with her. Um, and then once Felix and Luna become A students, I will get them to make some friends at school as well. Okay, what the? Look at- Dude. How is that even possible? I love Ren so much. You guys don't even understand. You just don't get it. <laughs> She's so badass. I have no idea how long my camera was off for. I apologize, you guys. I'm really sorry. It's just, it is what it is. All right, Felix. Goodbye. Have a great day at school today. Let's get some A's, okay? Let's get them A's. Listen to teacher. She's just finishing up her extra credit before she leaves. Cool. Kyla, you can go home now. What would Kyla be to Luna? So Kyla is Oliver's adopted daughter. So that means it is Charlie's Charlie's cousin. So Charlie's cousin that means it's her cousin as well, right? Yeah, that would make the most sense. All right, Luna, you have a great day at school as well. You as well, Zoe. Listen. Oh wait, no, no. Zoe uh, make friends. Who's calling Charlie? Painting career? Nah, that doesn't suit. You know what I realized? <laughs> no one in this family has a job. Like, I'm not saying that that's bad because, like, we don't really need money. Um, but... It's kind of sad, and I think maybe someone needs a job. I'm just kind of waiting for someone to offer either Charlie or Stella a higher-ranked career. Ren has 13,000 satisfaction points as well. That is crazy. We should spend some. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Never weary. They never need to sleep. So does that mean that her vampire energy will be always full? That would be clutch. Forever full? Would that fill up her thirst bar forever? Forever fresh. Retrading potion. That could be interesting. Her traits right now are dog lover, goofball, and child of the ocean. Needs no one, no socializing, money tree, super green thumb, seldom sleepy, savant. It looks like we have that one already. Connections. Start all career several levels ahead. That might be a uh, clutch. I was thinking of maybe giving Ren jobs to complete to help with the challenge. Cause I think that she would max careers like really, really fast. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see what she's got here. Thirst, social, fun, and hygiene. It would be kind of cool if she had the speed cleaner one. Cause you know how vampires are supposed to be like super fast and they're just able to like zip zap everywhere. <sighs> That'd be kind of cool. So let's grab that. Let's grab... She's got Mentor. She's got Morning Sim. She's got Night Owl. Speed Reader. Um, what's Storm Chaser? Love Stormy Weather. Marketable. I think we should get the Connections one. I think that would come in handy. So we're going to grab that. Don't want Fertile. I don't think. <laughs> or do we? <laughs> Um, super green thumbs. Super green thumbs will find that plants they guard and have amazing vitality. We really don't need that because all of our plants on our lot are perfect quality anyway. Let's get to the forever fresh one. That's like super, super awesome. And then we can get one that's 2000. Maybe. Let's get incredibly friendly. Why not? All right, Ren, you just added some more personality traits to your very, very, very long list. <laughs> Holy cannoli, look at that. Goofball, child of the ocean, always welcome. 
incredibly friendly, responsible, regained humanity, speed cleaner, night owl, shrewd, speed reader, gregarious, dog lover, mentor, connections, creative visionary, forever fresh, savant, morning sim, good manners, thrifty, and she's a collector. Dang, Ren. Dang. I think you need to be famous. You need to be famous at, at some point. You need to have every trait, every skill max, and you need to be a five-star celebrity. That is my goal. That is my freaking goal in life, guys. It is. Anyway, let's move along here. Knowing your scholarships, nah, dog. Charlie's practicing his speech. Stella is cooking mac and cheese. Um, right on, right on. I guess you can keep doing that, but I do need you to practice your magic some more. Yeah, who's calling Zoe? I heard you became friends with Alice. She's pretty cool. <laughs> I wonder how Alice is doing. I wonder if university life is suiting her. Ooh, Zoe made a friend! Reagan! Oh my gosh, exciting. She's almost leveled up her cooking skill right now. That's awesome. Who's calling? Ren. Sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. A donation to charity? Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, Stella, go ahead and experiment. Charlie is still working on his speech. Kieran, what are you doing, my love? Ooh, ooh, Cornelius. He looks interesting. <laughs> How are Kieran's skills? Oh, holy cannoli. Okay. I wonder. Nah, there's no way we can... He's just hanging out in a graveyard. There's no freaking way we can max his imagination skill before tomorrow. Is there? That would be crazy if we could. Let's just give it a shot. If we get it to level 3 at least, he'll get like a boost in his skills. Ooh! Potion of Immor... Hold up. Potion of Immortality. What is that? What is that? A potion to prevent death from old age. Like... Forever? Okay, I'm very interested in that. Very interested. She's almost... Oh my gosh, she only needs one more. Or... Do, she knows all of the practical magic spells. That's so rad, but what is this? Interesting. Very interesting, you guys. Did you max your wellness skill yet? Almost. Ren, I'm gonna need you to keep on practicing your yoga. I'm sorry, I know you're probably sick of it. Kyla, darling, go home! Go home, go home. Reset. Just, just head out, girl. Head out. Let's make some potions of plentiful needs. We've got plenty of apples in our inventory and we need a few more because... How many we got? Two? All right. Oh, who was that? Zoe met Deanna while at school. Okay, fantastic. She's meeting a lot of people. That's quite exciting. I can't even do that. So hard. Oh, look at this. Look at what Charlie has. Sappy, happy Celebus Serum. Okay, drink that, please. Drink it, and then you can continue practicing your speech. It's supposed to boost your 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 skill gain. Do it, freaking do it. Okay, grades are up. Fantastic. <gasps> okay, Zoe met a few people, so let's go ahead and create a club with those people, and we can give them a few makeovers. A quick, 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 quick ones. Quick, quick, quick. Friends club, invite only. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Jocelyn? Oh yeah, that was one of the girls we already knew. Uh, so Reagan, Paul, we met Christopher, Cornelius, Deanna. Oh, she looks really pretty. Dang it. Oh, and Chadwick, I forgot about Chadwick. Okay, I'll just get rid of one of the guys for now and add her. So we've got two girls, two guys. Actually, three girls and two guys. All right, fantastic. So let's go ahead and start a gathering. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see her friends. What's wrong with you, dude? You in a foul mood? Oh yeah, you're really tired. Okay, why don't you head to, head to bed for a while? Um, you too, Luna. You need it. So tomorrow will be prom. It's Friday, so I guess that makes sense. Or should it be Saturday? All right, where are your friends at? 
here they are. Here they freaking are. Okay, you are adorable. Love you. You are adorable as well. Oh my goodness. You, Mr. Paul. <gasps> a nose ring. He looks like a bad boy for sure. Gotta check that out. And then we've got this girl here who is gorgeous as well. And we've got her who we already gave a little makeover to. Okay, let's do Paul first because I am dying to know what he's about. I'm done with my Celsius already. It's just one of those days. <laughs> okay, wow, you've got a ginormous family. Oh, it's the fire Fires family. Okay, Paul, do you have any children? Nope, you just got a bunch of sisters. Okay. Okay, wait a minute, Dylan. He was friends with... Al no, shoot, who is he friends with? I think Alice. I think oh. Alice, yeah, okay. All right, all right, Paul. Paul Fires, untalented and waterproof, friend of the animals. Let's have a look at you. A very interesting looking sim for sure. I am, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Let's see what we can do for you, my boy. Okay, guys, just with new brows, some skin details, and that, some lashes, um, it's already so much better. Am I right? Definitely gonna give him his nose ring back. A hundred percent. Okay, now let's find him some hair. He had black, long, pushed back hair. I have plenty of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all CC creators tend to make. But I guess it makes sense. It's pretty trendy right now. Oh my gosh, look at this hair. So cute. Oh my god, love that. <gasps> this is like the hair, except alpha. Oh my gosh. You guys, I am seriously considering giving him plugs. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> he's so cute. Okay guys, I am all done. I hope that you like him. I made him super um, like 2007 scene kid. I don't know why I just went with it and I absolutely love him. He is so cute. How can you resist that face? Seriously, how? <laughs> I'll show you the outfits. Uh, this second one is so freaking seen. Here's his at first formal wear, athletic, sleep, party. This is so cute. Sleepwear, or swimwear, sorry. Hot weather and cold weather. I hope that you guys enjoy him. Um, he has such a big family. There are so many fires people in my game like they have been around since the beginning of legacy so i think it's it would be kind of cool if like maybe the fires family is like really big and well known in this world or in this save file and the camp compost family is also really well known and then to like link these families together um not saying that this is gonna be zoe's like final pick but i think that would be kind of a cool storyline to like merge the two families together you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. And hopefully we can go to prom with him. Hopefully we get to choose who we go with. I haven't tried that part of the mod yet, so we'll see. I'm definitely not gonna spend as much time as I did <laughs> on him, on her other friends. I just kind of want to see them and create a sim real quick and make them look normal. Oh, look, we got another fires person here. I wonder how they're related. See, I told you their family was huge. Okay, so she is unforgettable and a naturalist. Okay, this Fires family is honestly so very confusing. <laughs> They've just got people all over the place. Okay guys, here is, I think it's Reagan or Regan. I'm gonna say Reagan. <laughs> but I just recently downloaded this hair and holy crap, I love it. I love it so much. I love the texture of it, it's just, Chef's Kiss. It is by, oh man, what is this? 
<laughs> I will put it on the screen for you guys because I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, this hair is really, really good. So yeah, this is her little style here and I want to give her a formal outfit as well for prom. Ooh, this is really pretty. It has like a nice velvet texture. So let's go with that and we'll give her... Those are nice and then some earrings for sure. All right, all done with her. We've got a few more. I'm wasting so much time in create a sim. As per usual, I think that maybe we'll hold off on the other two because I don't want to waste too much time in create a sim. Um, I just wanted to find someone that Zoe could go to prom with. Eee! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love his braces. Oh man, I just love him, you guys. You don't understand. I know it doesn't seem like the typical kind of guy that Zoe would go for, but that's why I like it. It's just, it's just interesting. I don't know. So cute. So very cute. <laughs> All right, well, I'll leave them to it. My darling, how come you are not asleep? Please go to sleep. And Karen, what's the matter with you? You need some num nums. No problem. Come and grab... Ooh, fruit pie, yum. There's so much food in here, oh my god. Come grab some of this hammy ham dinner. What did you get your imagination to, anyway? Almost to level four, oh my gosh. I just did a workout, are you staying in shape too? Absolutely, Chadwick. I'm kicking a soccer ball right now with someone that's not you. Awkward. <laughs> Charlie, you're still practicing that speech? Oh my gosh, you look exhausted. Okay, you can stop now. Why don't you go ahead and grab a serving of this and then you can go off to bed. And then Stella, what are you doing? Stop, stop harvesting, please. I hate it when people harvest our plants. Uh, how's the wellness skill? Oh my gosh, she's almost maxed it, you guys. Just a little bit more, you can do it, Ren. You can do it. Improved posing, central heating, cozy fireplace, feeling good. That's what's up. This is, this right here is technically a fireplace. So I wonder if it's like warming her <laughs> while she's outside in the snow doing yoga. Look at how pretty the snow is though. There you go. You freaking did it. Ren can now brew lemon, honey, ginger, detox tea and share detox secrets. That's my girl. Yes, it is. Please stop harvesting our plants. Stop. I need to lock this greenhouse door. Oh my gosh, look at Zoe's needs. Holy crap. Okay. Um, drink one of these potions of plentiful needs, please. Oh my god, did you pee yourself? Hopefully Paul wasn't around. Drink the potion, love. Drink the potion and you'll feel better. Come on. Drink it. What skill do we want to do next for Ren? Video gaming, perhaps? She's already at level three, so I guess we could just do that. It is officially Kieran's birthday, so I'm going to get Ren. After she's done with her gaming sesh, I'm gonna get her to cook. We should make him a zombie cake since he was a Halloween baby. <laughs> um, Zombie cake, zombie cake, zombie, zombie, zombie cake. There we go. I'm excited to make Felix his hamburger cake for his hamburger head on his birthday. <laughs> What's going on here? That is so, so, so cute. Charlie was helping Luna with his her project and Bruce just plopped down and started going on his tablet. That's so cute. He needs a bath though. Oh my gosh, okay. Charlie, can you please do that? Give bubble bath to Bruce. How about you take some photos? Let's work on that photography skill, yes? Let's see what we got. Ah, that's adorable. Beautiful Stella. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh no, stinky Kieran. Then we got Mr. Silas here. Oh yeah, that's something else that I wanted to do. I wanted to um uh take portraits of Kieran before we age him up. All right, Luna finished her project. Let's put it in her room. Can you get out of Luna's room, please? 
All right, so let's go ahead. Ren, why didn't you cook that zombie cake? You guys, I just realized that if Stella does the delicioso spell on food that got spoiled, it turns into excellent quality. I had no idea she had the ability to do that, but that is so dope. All right, help blow up candles. Kieran, what is he up to anyway? I am so... Whoa, okay, Stella. Did you go swimming in the snow? What the... Fool. Okay, where'd he go? You gonna age up? Hello? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and go to the trait thingy. I went and I looked at his dad's traits and he had all custom traits. And when you have custom traits, this legacy challenge trait randomizer thing doesn't work. So I had to randomize his traits again. And the traits that he got were outgoing, jealous, and romantic. Which, oddly, like, suits the situation really well. Like, all those traits can kind of explain why he would hook up with some random girl at a bar. Ren? <laughs> and I think we'll invite him over so that he can meet Kieran in this episode as well. So Ren is child of the ocean, she is a dog lover, and she's a goofball. So cute. And then, what did I say for him? Outgoing, uh, romantic, and jealous. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Uh, Alright guys. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to figure out who Kieran's gonna be? I'm honestly really nervous. I guess the child aspiration and trait... Uh, the, 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 the teen one makes me the most nervous for sure. <gasps> oh my god. An outgoing artistic prodigy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, Kieran. Let's go. Let's have a look at you and Cass. Love that CC you got on. Okay, you guys ready for the big reveal? What the? I am very confused about this egg pattern on his face. What the heck is that? Okay. He's so freckly. <gasps> I love it. Okay. I think we'll give him these teeth, and once he ages up, he can grow out his fangs. Do we like these brows, or do we want something more, you know, thick? Ooh, I think thick, I think thick. Yeah, they just suit him. Okay, guys, this is what I decided on for his hair and brows and skin details. I chose this hair because I haven't used this hair yet. And I want something different. <laughs> so, yeah. And I um, made his hair a little bit more brown. It was really, really, really ginger when he was younger. But I feel like it would get more brown as he grew older. So, and I love the freckles, like, all over. I think they're so cute. So we gotta find him something to wear now. Since Alice was more on, like, the bright and sunny side, I think we should do the opposite with him. A lot of you guys were saying that you think that he would be like really charming with the ladies but like kind of bad you know like the on like you want him to explore the 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 bad side of being a vampire we can do something along the lines of this i kind of really like this actually okay guys he is all done i hope that you like him He's the first person in the family that has, like, all over freckles that are just, like, really, really pronounced. So I'm excited for that. While we're in Create a Sim, I think that- Holy crap, look at how buff she is! Oh my word. Okay, I think that we need to, um, find her something to wear for prom. This is really pretty, but, um, I don't know. I think she would wear something different for prom, maybe. I can't believe how buff she is. Look at those legs. Oh, this looks so nice on her. Oh, man. That's for sure her color, isn't it? Oh, so pretty. Okay, I have been dying to use this new Nightcrawler hair, and this is the perfect opportunity! Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <gasps> 
Oh man, I just love her so much. You guys don't understand. I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. That lip gloss looks really nice as well. Okay, uh, earrings maybe? I really like these drop hearts. <gasps> really cute. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. If you guys are looking for some nails that don't conflict with the skin detail lashes, these ones by Redhead Sims don't. They're amazing. All right, Zoe, are you ready for prom? I can't hear you. Suavius. There you go. It's like I was born ready. Bam. Wait, 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 wait. When, when did you max your freaking magic? Why did it I? Why didn't I get a notification? That's such a huge deal. What the heck? Okay. Hold the phone. We have three talent points we can spend. <gasps> she did it, you guys. She's a freaking virtuoso. Congrats, Sella. I am so proud of you, dude. So proud. Okay. Oh my gosh. We can now- Oh my gosh. Sim is now protected from curses. Okay, definitely want that. What is this? While in the magic realm, the Sim is extremely powerful. They are protected by death from overload and can more freely build charge and discharge their spellcaster charge levels. Also increase success chance of potion making, drinking, and spell casting. Interesting. Uh, what's this? Chance on potion creation that all the required ingredients will not be used. Um... Natural mentor! Increased relationship and skill gains when training or experimenting with other spellcasters. Okay, we should definitely get that because of Zoe. 50% uh, discount on all purchases. Uh, hmm. Alright, let's just get this one at the top then. <gasps> I am so proud of you, Stella. You have no idea, my love. No idea. Alright. Her energy's really low, so go ahead, go to sleep. Charles, oh my gosh, please take care of yourself. Bruce, hmm, let's do some tablet. Play some Sam shape. So once Zoe returns from school, we'll do prom, hopefully, and since it's your last day of school, why don't you just, I don't know, what could we do? Scroll Simstagram. Hopefully that'll help your fun. Yay! Okay, all of our kids are now A students, so that's beautiful. I'm gonna get Zoe to take one of her potions of plentiful needs. And then we will do prom! I'm so excited. Okay, drink the potion and you'll feel so much better, trust me. <laughs> there you go, love. All better. Okay, so let's try this out. Plan a social event. I have no idea how this works. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I don't know if she can, like, ask people. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Uh, prom. Purchase your tickets and have the most memorable, memorable night of your life. Go with your crush, or if that's not an option, your BFF. Enjoy the night with your classmates, and don't forget to be home before curfew. All right, let's go. Ooh, we do get to invite a date. Eight maximum, so we can invite friends, too. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm just going to invite all of her friends, then. Hmm. I guess we should have it at a lounge, maybe? No, no, no. It should be a nightclub, right? To dance. Brimstone remodel. Hmm. All right, let's try that one out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see how this works. I, I've done prom once before, but it was like, um, it was slice of life and it was like a random invite, but it never happened again after that. It was in Legacy 2. It was for... Who's it for? It was for Max, and that's where he met Zara. Yeah, we originally went with April, and then we left April and started hanging out with Zara. Oh my god. Max was so bad. I was the one controlling him, but still. Okay. Um, okay, nobody is in prom outfits, so let's change that. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get Felix to take a photo of 
Zoe. Oh, I wish, dang it, I wish it, it could be her, uh, a, like her and her date. But I guess this is fine. There we go, that's a prom pose if I ever saw one. Cuties! Aww. Oh my gosh, here's another teen that's attending prom. What's your name, sir? Sam Pacheco. Then we've got Angela Benedict. We've got. She's pretty. K? K Capri. Capricci. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce that. Holy cannoli. Go, Paul. Go, Paul. Blow horns. Oh my gosh, look at all the teens. Yay! She's the only. Wait, whoa. I was like, she's the only one who's dressed up for prom, but then I saw the shorts. <laughs> Today's my favorite holiday. Anyway, talk about everyone's style. That's so cute. Oh, here's another girl. Beatrice. Aww. Move, you're ruining my shot, sir. All right, go off. What's everyone doing? Oh, there's another dance floor up here. Holy cannoli, there goes Felix. Okay, Felix, is there anyone here that you might be interested in? Oh, look at this guy. He's adorable. Thomas Ward. Ooh, let's introduce ourselves to her. Oh my god, there's so many teens. Oh, he's cute. Gregor- Oh! I knew it! I was like, he looks so freaking familiar. He's a freaking Bellamy, you guys. I wonder, like, whose kid it is. <gasps> Spicy, guys. Ooh, who's this over here? Hello, darling. What's your name? Kyla! Another Kyla? She's cute, too. Who's this? Silas, what are you doing at prom? Aw, Yibs. Aw, this is cute. I love this. Aw, yeah, girl. You're feeling yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Hey, Ryan's here. Oh my gosh, he's just like being really creepy watching over us. What do you have to do? Look at Felix over here. Mr. Popular. Dang. Oh, he's looking at her. <gasps> Try to cheer up. Do an impression. I can't believe how many people are here. It's honestly crazy. Clubs are never like this in The Sims. Where's our date, though? Is he still downstairs? Did he leave? Oh, nope, he's sitting. Oh, I was like, you're not doing homework. Felix, what the heck? <gasps> they have cocktails, you guys. What? Perhaps we should introduce ourselves to him. He's family, I guess, right? He's adorable. Come on, go ahead, don't be shy. Aw, Yibs. What is this, the adult section down here? Lilith. Oh, you Lilith and Beth. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Where is Paul? There's a bubble machine out here and everyone's just like getting so lit. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. This is such a good prom. Okay, I made Felix uh, do the thing. I'm gonna get him to offer her a rose and she see how she takes it. She's like, um, excuse me, Kyla. Can I talk to you for a second? She's like, what's up, Felix? This hookah's really hitting me. <laughs> Fun prom! Oh my god, she's doing it. <gasps> is she gonna take it? Oh, she looks so happy! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh wow, he's healing himself. Okay. 
Oh, they're so cute! Exchange numbers. Oh my gosh, she's dazed though. Oh gosh. She's probably drunk. Hanji, happy prom! Okay, momentary break from a face cam because my memory card ran out. I'm transferring stuff right now, but I'm making- <gasps> I made her embrace him and he took it, he took it, he took it, he took it, he took it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, Max Jr.'s here. <gasps> is that Zach? Oh, it is. Cute. So many people here. Uh-oh, he's gonna pee himself. Let, let the man pee. Okay, I'm gonna try revealing Crush. I, this, like, never works, but he's feeling fearless, guys. Oh, oh, there she goes. <gasps> he took it. He took it. Oh my god, they can have first kiss. Get it, Zoe. Do it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Talk about perfect prom night, right? Oh, I didn't tell them to do that. Holy cannoli. Wow. Okay, I'll leave them to it. How are you doing over here? Chat with Kaylin. Where? Oh, who is this? A young adult. Felix, what do you... Do you like older women? He just came up to this chick and started talking to her. She's... Let's have a look. Hey, look at me. She's actually so pretty. I can see why he's attracted to her for sure. She's got those big, beautiful eyes. Hmm. Like, well, it was nice meeting you, youngin. All right. Well, let's go home then. That was pretty successful. Oh, you just got yourself some chippies. Sorry to take you away, but... <laughs> it's almost 2 in the morning. Y'all got an 11 p.m. curfew. You definitely broke it tonight, didn't you? I've been recording for almost three hours, so we're probably just gonna leave it right here. I'm really sad too. Like, <laughs> I'm having so much fun and I love playing this this save file. It's, it's amazing. But my memory card's full. We're going on three hours of filming, so... Yeah. I do wanna have a look at that one girl though, for Felix, like up and close and see like, what her family is about as well, and her traits to see if she's like even good enough for him. Okay, let me see. Let me just see very quickly. Okay, I freed up a little bit of space on my memory card. <laughs> so happy for Zoe though. Um, yeah, she ages up tomorrow. So I'm, I'm just glad she had a prom and she had her first kiss and she made a couple of friends in school. Oh, she's still so faded from prom. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just have a look at her really quickly. Just quickly, okay? <laughs> Off camera, I will give all of Zoe's friends their makeovers. Okay, oh, let's see here. Oh, baby Ariel, huh? Okay, Dominic and Viola is your mom and father and you have a brother. Okay, Viola. This is Viola Fires, or fries or whatever. This is that one girl that was eating the smelly food and she was all dazed. Do you guys remember that? It was one in, the, in one of the earlier episodes. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, that every day. Holy cannoli, it's so very extra. Okay, you guys, look at this girl. This is the outfit that it gave her and I just changed her brows and her hair. <gasps> she is so pretty. What the heck, dude? What the actual heck? She's so pretty. I even like the outfit that it gave her. Maybe a different swatch of shoe. Or maybe even just Converse. Love that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow, we got really lucky with um, the random sims that Zoe and Felix met. Wow, okay. Let's look at her traits. <laughs> she has a bodybuilding aspiration. She's evil and a music lover. I'm honestly really confused about her skin tone though because her mom and dad, so perhaps she was adopted. But dang guys, she is so pretty. So freaking pretty, but those traits, <laughs> they're questionable. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of her, if we should keep looking for Felix or if this is the girl that he should 
that he should uh marry because we got to move them out somehow and i really like the idea of like marrying them off instead of just moving them out um but yeah let me know let me know what you think of her let me know what you think of paul as well and we have to double check to see if paul and nyla are related somehow we're gonna have to look at the family tree too oh my gosh so much there's just there's just so much this uh this let's play is just like extremely complicated I like it though. It's quite fun. So yeah, you guys, let me know in the comments again what you think of Nyla and what you think of Paul. Let me know what you think of Kieran's makeover. Um, in the next episode, what do we got on the calendar? We have New Year's Eve. We've got Zoe and Luna's birthday. We've got Egg Day. Um, we're gonna age up Bruce and we're gonna age up Felix and move him out. Hopefully he will be getting married if you guys like that girl. Um, if not, we're just gonna have to find another person for him before his birthday. And then we'll probably get him married as well and move him out with his wife to Strangerville. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah, and the day after his birthday is love day so we could have a love day wedding. I know that's like super cliche, but Let's just do it. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!